Hi everyone, today we will be discussing a study recently published from the New England Journal of Medicine entitled Bezlotoximab for the Prevention of Recurrent Clostridium Difficile Infection. Clostridium difficile is a common cause of diarrhea in hospitalized patients. After completing initial antibiotic therapy, up to 35% of patients have a recurrent C. diff infection. A new approach to the prevention of recurrent C. diff infection is the administration of human monoclonal antibodies against C. diff toxins. Specifically, we are talking about actoximab, which binds to and neutralizes toxin A, and bezlotoximab, which binds to and neutralizes toxin B. The purpose of this study was to examine the safety and efficacy of bezlotoximab both alone and combined with actoximab for the prevention of recurrent C. difficile infection. So there are two studies, MODIFY-1 and MODIFY-2. They were randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trials conducted at 322 sites in 30 countries from November 2011 to May 2015 with approximately 2,655 adults enrolled. The inclusion criteria consisted of adults with primary or recurrent C. difficile infection who are receiving oral standard of care antibiotics. This includes metronidazole, vancomycin, or fidaxomycin for 10 to 14 days. And this treatment was chosen by the treating physician. Participants were randomly assigned to receive a single dose of bezlotoximab at 10 milligrams per kilogram, actoximab plus bezlotoximab, placebo, or in modified one, only actoximab alone at 10 milligrams per kilogram. The primary endpoint was the proportion of participants with recurrent C. difficile infection during the 12 weeks of follow-up in the modified intention to treat population. So in both of these trials, the percentage of participants who had recurrent infection was significantly lower in the bezlotoximab group than in the placebo control group. So in MODIFY1, 17% versus 28% in favor of the bezlotoximab group with a p-value of less than 0.001. In MODIFY2, this was 16% versus 26% in favor of bezlotoximab group with a p-value of less than 0.001. And recurrent rates were also significantly lower in the actoximab and bezlotoximab group than when compared to placebo group. So in MODIFIED1, we had 16% recurrence versus 28% recurrence with a p-value of less than 0.001. In modified 2, we had 15% versus 26% recurrence with a p-value of less than 0.001, both in favor of the bezlotoximab groups. So what we can conclude from the trial results are that one, bezlotoximab was associated with a significantly lower rate of recurrent infection than was placebo. Number two, actoximab was not efficacious when it was given alone, and it provided no additional benefit when it was added to bezlotoximab. This suggests that toxin B is the main determinant of virulence in recurrent C. difficile infection in humans. Three, there were higher rates of death in serious adverse events in the actoximab group. So per the study investigators, the reasoning for this is unclear. And four, bezlotoximide actually has just recently uh, received FDA approval to reduce the recurrence of clostrid clostridium difficile infection in patients greater than or equal to 18 years of age who are receiving antimicrobial treatment for C. diff and at high risk for recurrence. So the treatment guidelines for Clostridium difficile are from 2010, and this is from the Infectious Disease Society of America. So we do have a new update that's currently in progress. So it will be interesting to see where bezlotoximab fits in within those guidelines, as well as where does fidaxomycin fit those guidelines, because the current 2010 guidelines doesn't have fidaxomycin in there. So it will be interesting to see. Now I have checked to see how much 
chemotherapy will cost with bezeltoximab. And obviously, since it is weight-based dosing, it is going to vary per patient. But this drug is going to run about somewhere in the ballpark of $4,000 per dose. And remember, in the trial, this gave us efficacy up to 12 weeks, which was the follow-up period. So I just want to thank everyone for watching. If you like the video, please like it so we know that we need to continue to keep making videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below or contact us through our social media sites, and I'll be sure to put that information below. And uh, we'll see you next video. Thank you.